Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video we will be installing Open 4 for GTA 5 in the year 2024. So let's just go ahead and get right into the video guys. The link um, in the description will lead you to this website which is Open 4's official website. In here guys go ahead and head to the download now green button here it should be the latest version go ahead and click that so it'll download the ovi setup exe guys okay um once you've downloaded it go ahead and go into your download files and go ahead and open the ovi setup okay once you've gone ahead and open it it'll pop up with this window here saying choose your language okay go ahead and select the language of your choice guys uh, once you've selected it go ahead and click continue now it'll come up with the end user license agreement okay feel free to read through this if you want i do recommend reading through it but once you've read through it guys go ahead and click i accept the terms of this agreement and then click continue okay once you've done that guys it'll show you where the path where it's going to be installed to you could change this if you want to feel free to change it if you do but i'm just going to leave it as it is okay and once you've finished with that click continue okay now here it's going to say the download size and if you want to continue just click yes okay now it's just going to go ahead and install open iv it should not take too long once it's done click close okay now as you can see open iv will now be on our desktop go ahead and open open iv now it's going to pop up with this window here there is going to be a few games in here but this tutorial is for gta 5 so we're going to be doing grand theft auto v so click on windows underneath grand theft auto v now here guys it's going to ask where your main game directory is so i'm going to show you exactly where you can find that so if you just click on browse and if it does take you there you'll be fine but if it doesn't i'm going to show you where it's located usually just click this pc go to your local disk go down to program files x86 then go to steam then go to steam apps then go to common and then go into grand theft auto v and then once you're in here guys in this path make sure it is this path what leads into grand theft auto v click select folder and if you did that correctly, it should pop up with this green text saying it, it, uh, OpenIV can work with this file. Uh, once it says that, just click continue. Now it's saying do not forget to back up your original files before editing. Just click continue once again. Now it's just going to go ahead and load up OpenIV for you. It should not take too long. Once it loads up guys, go ahead and feel free to put it in full screen if you want to. As you can see now we're in OpenIV, what you want to first of all do is you want to go to the tools option here, click on tools, and then go down to ASI manager, click on ASI manager, okay. Now it's going to load up uh, the ASI manager, and in here as you can see I already have ASI loader installed. If you don't have it installed guys, install it, okay? And we want to also install openiv.asi and open camera, okay? Go ahead and install both of them. Uh, if it asks you to create a mods folder guys, um, if you already have one, it won't ask you this. But if you don't have one, um, what you want to do if this pops up guys, is you want to tick the allow edit mode only for our archives inside mods folder. Tick that box there and click yes, okay? Now you'll have a mods folder. And now install open camera as well, okay? Make sure all of these three are installed and they're all green. Once they're all green and installed guys, click close, okay? Now once you've done that, um, go up to the top of the screen guys and you should see something called edit mode, okay? Go ahead and click on edit mode. Now it'll say this guys, just click yes, okay? So that's basically it guys, but every time you modify any files in OpenIV or you add any mods in OpenIV using OpenIV, make sure you always turn on edit mode before you um, modify any files in here or add any mods in here, okay? And if it ever asks you to copy to mods folder in any of these, like for example, if you're gonna go in x64a, and you're going somewhere make sure you always copy to mods folder okay 
and then you can continue modifying the files. But always make sure you have edit mode on and you copy to mods folder, okay? But that is basically it for this tutorial, guys. If you did enjoy, or if this did help you out in any way, shape or form, it would really help me out if you could like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And um, yeah, guys, this is the end of the tutorial.